What would you say your favorite condiment of all time is? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. <laughs> That's not a condiment. Uh, yeah. Yo, cucumbers are not a condiment. Benvenuti al cooking show. Ciao, Massimo. Ciao, Faride. Come stai? We are here today and we're back in the test kitchen because we're going to make an Italian combo calzone. So like the best thing in the world. Basically, we're combining like two of my favorite things, pizza and a sandwich. He's very modest, but this guy knows his dough and I'm just a dope. So we're going to have you show me how to make some dough here. And we're going to use this dough to make a really beautiful calzone in our uni pizza oven outside. So today we're gonna use uh, a preferment polish okay. in our dough. So it's something easy that everyone at home, we can do it. I recommend to do this one the night before. So when people sleep, you know, the dough can work as magic. It's 250 grams of flour, strong flour. So that you high can get- High gluten flour. High gluten flour, exactly. Great. 250 grams of water. And we go with one gram of fresh yeast. Dry. You can use dry yeast, just half of the side. And tell me, what is Poolish? This one is actually a liquid preferment we're gonna incorporate in the dough. So it's gonna it's gonna be our yeast, okay. pretty much. Yeast in the flour, just. And how long have you been making pizzas for? Well, I started in 2017 when I got the pizzeria. The shop, it was- That's a, when you started making pizzas? Yeah, I never made pizza before in my life. What? So this is gonna go put in this container and then we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator or- No, no, room, room temp, temp, room temp. It's gonna double on the size and then when it right collapse the day after, it's ready. So you're gonna be with me for 12 hours now? Yeah. Cool. Massimo's smart and he brought one already made. Look at this. So we're going in with the 600 grams of uh, low protein flour. Perfect, like an all-purpose flour, great, I love that. We have 150 grams of whole wheat. We use 2% of sugar, it helps to activate the foolish okay. and the yeast. We start the mixer like this, so all the ingredients can mix it up. She's beautiful. Pichino. Look at it. We start the mixer, and we're going to introduce a little bit of water. And I always leave on the side for the end about 5% of water in the total recipe so okay. we can adjust the temperature. So now we're gonna introduce the salt. Okay. We did 3% of salt, so 30 grams. So about 23, so perfect. Again, it's very important to check temperature mm -hmm. and time. After the salt and the water, we go with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Ah, oh, look at that. That's a beautiful dough. Ooh, We're gonna wait about like two, three hours. Two, the three dough, hours. Yeah, the dough needs to double up in the okay. size. We've been waiting, the dough is ready, so we're gonna go cut and portion it. Great. How big of balls do you portion this into? We go about 200 grams, 180, 200 grams. Okay. Now you're fast. Huh? Yeah, I used to be a pizza maker. Wow. That was my first job. How come your hands aren't getting sticky like this? Look. You do it every day and you know, you figure it out. You can use it tonight and we can just leave it at room time outside. Yep. Or if we want to use it tomorrow, we go straight to the fridge. Well, now for this one, we leave it out. It's going to take probably another three hours. Cool. Yep. Now we wait and we drink some more and we play some more soccer. Our dough is ready. It's been a couple hours. So this thing will crank up to like 950 degrees, but we're doing a lower temperature in there, like five mm -hmm. to 600 degrees yep. for about five to six minutes. Cause we want the dough cooked and we want the inside to be like creamy, melty and exactly. heated through. So let's fire up our oven and Maybe. make our filling and mm -hmm. start making some calzones. Okay, let's do it. It's cooking show abroad. Next episode, Sicily coming at you. Sicily. There you go. Again, salute. In our Italian combo calzone, we're gonna add some ricotta, mozzarella, <laughs> mozzarella, a mortadella, mm -hmm. prosciutto di parma, salami. We've got some pepperoncini, provolone. You're doing good. <laughs> Thank you. That we one you don't know it. Some. That one you don't know. Red onion. Don't. No, cipolla. Cipolla. Cipolla rossa. Cipolla rossa. Okay. Tomma. Pom pomodoro. <laughs> and. Oh, peppers. Yeah. Peperoncino picante. Si. I always have some extra snacking cheese. Can I throw some of this in your mouth for you? It's <laughs> going to me. <laughs> oh, you got some, got right? Mm -hmm. Not for me. Perfect. There you go. There you go. Good team, good team. We got some mozzarella in there. Right on in. That's beautiful. You can put that right into this bowl here. 
cut up some of this prosciutto for me, please? Amazing. And we're just gonna roughly chop it. Would you would you say this is accurate? This is all very Italian stuff. When I'm from in Tuscany, we don't mix it up a lot. The prosciutto with mortadella or salami. No. You keep we them do separate. It, keep it separate, more simple, yeah. The cooking show, we like triple the amount of meat, yeah. triple the amount of cheese. We got three cheese, three meats, all of this stuff. It's just, you know, you can't go wrong. We're gonna do some of these hot peppers in there, but we're just gonna do, like roughly chop them up. That's fine. We're gonna add some tomatoes, but I'm gonna take the seeds out because I don't want all of that like moisture. Do you know what calzone, what it means in Italian then? Oh, calzone is your pants. Because this was something that they ate on the go in Naples. So it's like, because it's something, you know, you hold it and you like walk around with it. So okay. you me it means like the trousers. You have to they stand up and walk. Yeah, basically. so it's like it's wearing your pants. I don't know. I, I don't really understand. A little bit lost in translation. But, but it makes sense. I'm into it. Yeah. I'm not mad about it. So you guys make really amazing sandwiches on mm -hmm. Wednesdays usually. But every day you have one. But Wednesdays you do like a special sandwich. Wednesday is the, is the special one. Yeah, me and Nick. We Who's come up with this idea. Nick is my partner. Nick is the creator of all the sandwich at the shop. I'm just, I'm just taking care of the dough and all the bread. Then he's create the sandwich. So I'm, I'm your, I'm your Nick now. Okay, amazing. you're the, you're the dough maker. I'm the sandwich Perfect. person. It's not easy to come up every week with a different sandwich. Watch Let me. me. Is that a challenge? It's, yeah, it's a difficult challenge. I can handle it. Every week with a different one is not easy. I can handle this. Okay. If anyone can do it, it's me. Like usually on an Italian combo, you have like a vinaigrette, like oil and vinegar okay. and stuff. So mm -hmm. instead of marinara sauce, which I love marinara sauce, it's, it's great. Look at all the cooking shows. I think I always have marinara sauce in as many videos as I possibly can, except for this one. This one, we're going to do a vinaigrette. So it's going to have some Italian seasoning. What do you have here? Olive oil? Olive oil, red wine vinegar, vinegar? chili flakes, chili and flakes. Dijon, which is Literally my favorite condiment of all time. You could use fresh herbs, but we're using dried, beautiful dried Italian seasoning because... Where is it from, you know? It's from Italy. It's from Tuscany. Sicily? Those. It's, Tuscany. it's from Sicily. Cheers. We're gonna call it Tuscany now. We're gonna switch up. Okay, you hear that? You hear that, people? Every time we say Tuscany, Tuscany, Tuscany is the new magic word. Sicily's mm -hmm. out, Tuscany's in. I mean, no, Sicily's beautiful. We should go to Sicily. But you said Sicily. Tuscany now. Sicily. <laughs> Tuscany. We're gonna put some red onion in here. Okay, this is looking very beautiful. The only thing we're missing is fresh oregano from the garden. So, okay, do you want me to take you in the garden? We'll go, go. grab some. Let me see you. All right. Now we're gonna wait one year that it dries out, <laughs> and then we make the fresh oregano. No, we need the fresh. We need the okay. fresh. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, smell that! Actually, that's really good. Mm. Right? Mm. It's good, right? I'm becoming American. <laughs> He's becoming American. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Mm. For those of you at home paying along, we have our filling ready. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, keep it cool. Our oven is heating up nicely. I'm but ready, first, Mr. first Sicily. Tuscany. Tuscany. Wait. Salute. Let's roll these out. Okay. Ah, look at it. It's so soft. It's like a little pillow. It's like a little cushion. So the difference between like stretching these and stretching the pizza, you don't want to create like. Air you pockets. don't want it to be too thin in the middle. Yeah. Look at and also just note my technique and how wonderful I'm doing here. I'm American. I'm Italian American, so I'm gonna go big. All right, ready? I'm gonna fold that on over. Mm -hmm. Wait, look at look at the difference. The Italian version versus the American. Mine's like mm -hmm. fat and big. Yeah. Yours is flat and yeah. I like to spread it around. And look how cute that is. Because this is a sandwich Italian combo. Italian, American, we're gonna add some mayonnaise to the top. Now I know you guys are thinking out there, that's fucking weird and gross, but also guess what? It's brilliant. I am the smartest person alive. It's America. It's America, mayonnaise is America. We're gonna slap on some mayonnaise and then we're gonna add some sesame seeds because again, the best bread has sesame seeds on it that's when you want the sandwich. The that's sandwich why we're doing it. Seeds. I'm like sesame bay instead of salt bay. Let's Let go. The oven is ready. Let's do this. I want it to stay close to the door. We don't want to burn it, you know? Five minutes. It's calzone o'clock. Definitely, if you have one of these oven at home, you can learn how to make pizza. You can play around with gas, propane, or yeah. you can play around with wood, which is more difficult to use it, but you can learn faster. How do you learn how to make pizza? Making it every day. Who taught you? Myself. See, I called one of my friends from Rome, and he really told me how to like understand me more about the flour, the yeah. fermentation, and everything else. Before, I was just mixing flour, water, and yeast. 
and I couldn't figure it out. Yep. Pronto. Now we're talking. Oh, oh look yeah, at this. Baby. Oh, yeah, baby. This is gorgeous. I'm All right. A, I'm a corner guy. There we go. Cheers. Tuscany. Cheers Calzone. Mm. The dough is light. It has a little bit. You can taste like the fermentation. I think it really yeah. adds something. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the filling? It's spicy. It's creamy. It's fatty. It's delicious. It's American. It's American. It's an American Italian combo. And like, I think that the wood fire in the oven really adds like that nice, like that beautiful char. Mm -hmm. And it just like, it makes it nice and crispy on the outside and adds really good flavor to it also. Yeah. The second one. I like this. Ready? There you go. Tastes better than that. <laughs> <laughs> for the recipe, click the link below. Thank you, Massimo, for being here. Don't forget to come to Lindustry and visit him. Thank you, Uni. Get making some pizzas, around, some calzones. You know. Play around. Bellissimo. Have some more. The fun doesn't stop. Mm. Tuscany, Sicily, calzone, <laughs> trousers, walk around, eat it, pizza, uni, delicious, <laughs> yum.